Hello everyone, welcome to Python Vibes YouTube channel. I am thrilled to have you join us for today's exciting topic, which is JSON data handling in Python. Whether you are a Python beginner or experienced, understanding JSON serialization and deserialization is crucial in your coding journey, especially when working with APIs. But before we dive in, let's briefly discuss what is JSON and why it is essential in the world of programming. Let's look at some of the use cases of JSON data. We will be using JSON data in, in the configuration files where we will be mentioning all settings related to our application. The next use case is web storage. JSON is used in web development to store and retrieve data in web browsers. This can include storing user preferences, session data or other client side data. And also we will use this in case of serialization and deserialization. Also we will be using in database storage. JSON is used in NoSQL databases. For example, MongoDB to store semi-structured data and its language interoperability. JSON is a language agnostic, making it easy to exchange data between applications written in different programming languages. Last but not the least, RESTful APIs. JSON is preferred format for RESTful APIs as it aligns well with the statelessness and resource-based nature of RESTful architecture. Let's start with serialization. Serialization allows us to convert Python object into JSON format string, making it easy to transmit or store this data. So we import the JSON module to work with JSON data in Python. And we have a Python dictionary named data containing user information like name, age, city. And using json.dumps, we serialize the data dictionary into a JSON format string. And we will store it in the JSON underscore str. So json.dumps of data. If we print this JSON underscore str, we'll have our data dictionary into a JSON format string. Let me save it and run this. So we have this in the JSON format string. Let's talk about deserialization. This process involves converting a JSON format string back into a Python object. It's like unwrapping a present and getting the valuable data inside. We have json str which is nothing but json string in this format like which contains name age city and using json dot loads we de deserialize the json string back into python dictionary name data we have data equals to json dot loads of json str and if we print the data we have our python object let's see a real world example of how json data handling can be a game changer imagine you are building an application where users can customize their preferences like themes font size and notification settings we have created a python dictionary named user preferences containing their choices for theme font size and notification settings here so to serialize python dictionary object into a json string we will be uh, using the json.dump so let me do that with open I'm taking one file name called preferences dot json which is in the right mode so that I can store my uh, info in json data into a file and I'm storing this I'm storing this into the json file using json.dump so now what will happen so whatever the user preferences we've been uh, storing it here that is going to store it in the preferences.json file which is nothing but we are serializing the python dictionary object into a json string so to deserialize our user preferences from json string to python dict object like now we need to open with open whatever the file we have show, stored our preferences that i'm taking it here in the read mode as a file object so i'm storing it into the load one of the variable called loaded preferences equals to json.load I have to load this file object into this variable so that I can print the loaded references. So let me save this and run it. So we can see theme is dark, font size is 14, show notifications are true. JSON is a powerful tool for exchanging data between systems and working with the APIs, and it's a must known concept for every Python developer from beginners to experienced coders. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any queries, or want more python content remember to like this video and subscribe to python wives youtube channel for more interview questions answers and python concepts from basics to advanced level thank you guys for watching this video until next time happy coding